Quick news, 8100. Showing shark teeth today. I think there was even a shark on this somewhere. Or was he? Was that him there? I don't know. It's hard to tell, but that that's uh, definitely something there. Um, I've got pictures of it, other videos of it. Uh, if you want to have a closer look, you can find the short that I did on this one. It's pretty interesting. Um, anyways, then we got this one here. So we go up a little bigger on the uh, on the shark tooth scale here. Um, I noticed some uh, some of the markings were similar. I believe right was it here? I followed this ridge on the small one because the small one's very clear. It's uh, it's got it's got a little more tooth remnants than than these these two here well yeah this one's a giant one so um, the marking that I was going to show I think it was this uh, this overlap here this this fold on the end kind of see there's this fold here just like uh, on the small one so this would have been a uh, this would have been a fairly big big shark if this was a shark tooth megalodon is that who we're uh, who we're looking at here you got a face on this side too maybe yeah yeah uh, side profile of a face right here maybe we'll stick it in the water real time here oh it looks like even right here we got a little uh little animal sticking out let's see if we can zoom in on that spot see what we got here a oh, little too far back a bit what do we got here well, I guess it's uh, the lighting right now is kind of working but a little bit off turn it this way oh there we go Whoa. hey now yeah, let's put this thing in the water. Put it in the trusty bucket. Let's see if we're still looking like a shark tooth. Yeah, we got some uh, some markings on there for sure. Yeah, you would not want to get bit by this guy. Okay. Anybody that's into uh, shark teeth, if you know anything about them and uh, this does, you know, ring a bell to you, leave a comment. I uh, know not everybody's into finding fossils and everything, but I know I know a lot of people like to do it and they they, they learn a lot about the the geometry of the of what they're finding. That's basically how you you know determine what you found because the uh, geometric shapes are uh, quite similar 
Anyways, okay, let's move on. I know we're doing a longer video today. Well, got a bit of time, so there we go. We'll put that on there. Is that the right way? Yeah, good enough. Okay, we'll sh check out the biggie. Now, obviously it just looks like a regular rock when it's on the ground. Lisa, she's got an eye for these things. She's found all the shark teeth, and I just walk right over them and don't even realize what they are. She's like, oh, shark tooth. Okay. And so it is. Let's put this one in the water, too. This one's a little heavier, a little bigger. So it seems like the other one was kind of yellow like they're almost like different material even the smaller one isn't uh, isn't this solid this is uh, a bit more weight to it but it's got all similar similar groove there Well, let's see if it's got the uh, let's see if it's got the same markings as the uh, as the other ones. I guess I would put it this way. Yeah, there's that overlap. There's that overlap right there. What do you think? Giant shark tooth? Sure. I believe it. But I'd still love to hear comments. Um, there we go. The big one. A little bit smaller. And the baby. Talk to you later.